Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bots in this video is the brand new Transformers Earthrise Battle Chargers Run Amuck and Run About. Now, Run Amuck here is your basic retail bot. You can find him at Walmart, Target, or any other brick and mortar store that sells Transformers and most online retailers. Where Run About here is a Target exclusive. And I always thought that Target exclusives had something on there that said Target exclusive. And a big shout out to Target.com. I pre-ordered this guy back in October, and he arrived safe and sound yesterday on my porch in a box, opposed to an envelope that Amazon usually ships these guys in. So, hoo Target. Now, take a quick look at the packaging. You've got both Run em Up and Run About in robot mode right there in that clear window box. Transformers Earthrise side of the box here. You've basically got the same style artwork and the same pose, but of course the bot modes are different and they look really, really good. Back of the box, you've got robot modes and vehicle modes. This side of the box is of course the Earthrise artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get this devilish Decepticon duo out of the packaging and check them out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Run Amuck and Run About all opened up out of their packaging, you'll see each one does come with a sheet of instructions. And just like all the modern instructions we've been getting, these are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. Now, let's take a look at the figures themselves. Both Run Amuck and Run About share the exact same mold. The only difference, as you can see, is the color scheme and they have different head sculpts. Also, Run Amuck only comes with one weapon, while Runabout comes with two. So now let's take a closer look at Runamuck. Runamuck is a great looking bot. He's all white in coloring with very minimal paint applications. He's got a big purple Decepticon logo right there in the center of his chest and kinda light purple eyes. I love the head sculpt. It's very reminiscent to his Generation 1 toy. Though the Generation 1 toy had gray eyes and like I said, he's got kind of a purple violet look to his eyes. He also has translucent windows right here on the chest uh, and some paint applications down here on the feet. And that's really about it as far as coloring is concerned. Lots of great molded details all over. I really like the looks of this guy. And speaking of molded details, what is the deal with that demon face on his belt? That's right. I see it and now you do too. Now moving on to articulation, the head is on a ball joint and it can do a complete 360 and look up and down slightly. Arms complete 360 as well. Man, mine's a little tight. So yeah, they can go all the way around, though they might hit on that backpack. There's also a elbow bend, elbow rotation, no wrist swivel. There is a Waist rotation, legs up and down, in and out. There is a knee bend, but you have to watch because the knees tab in right here. So a lot of times when you're doing the knee bend, you actually pop that tab loose 
instead of the knee bend like so. And there's also ankle tilts. So a really cool looking figure with lots of articulation and he looks so good. I mean, he's a great update to that original generation one toy. Now he also comes with this black blaster. And one thing I noticed right off is this blaster is more of a homage to the runabout G1 weapon opposed to the run amuck G1 weapon. Let me pull that up there one more time for you to look at. You've got run amuck's weapon. I can't get this right. And G1 runabout. So they got that off slightly, but still it's not bad looking at all. And you can put it up here on his shoulder if you want to give him that generation one look, or of course he can hold it in his hand. So now you've got Runabuck all armed and ready for battle. Now let's take a look at Runabout. Now I really like the looks of Runabout. I've always been a fan of black and red Transformers, and this guy just takes the cake. I mean, check out these paint applications. That looks awesome. The head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. Very reminiscent of his Generation 1 toy. He's got the little notch there at the chin, and it looks so much like his Generation 1 cartoon counterpart. I love it. It looks great. Big purple Decepticon logo right there on the chest. His windows are now a translucent red. And just like Run Amuck, lots of great molded details, very little paint applications, but what he does have rocks. You've got the red striping there along the legs and the feet. Now he has the exact same articulation as Run Amuck, so I'm not going to go over that again, but let's take a look at his weaponry. First off, he gets the exact same weapon that Run Amuck has, just painted red with a black tip, and he also gets this other weapon. And once again, he gets a weapon that is more reminiscent to G1 Run Amucks than his. But he gets the two, so he also has this one right here. So I guess he gets a pass. Now, just like Run Amuck, you can put these up here on his shoulders, like so, or he can hold it in his fist. Also, another cool feature is these weapons can combine to give him a rifle. If I can get that out of his fist got the two ports on the back so you can just plug either one in. I like to put the one with the scope on the back, peg them in like so, and now he's got a rifle that he can actually wield with both hands. Get him all posed here, and there we go. That looks awesome, and now we've got Runabout all armed and ready for battle. Now let's get these guys transformed into vehicle mode. Runamuck and Runabout have exactly the same transformation, so I am only going to transform one figure. The first thing you're going to do is remove the weapon and then fold the hands up into the arms like so. The next thing we're going to do is down here at the legs, we're going to unpeg that knee joint or that knee peg I was telling you about earlier, and you're going to fold the leg down toward the feet. You'll do that on both sides, unpeg and fold down. So that'll bring the legs up closer to the crotch. Now what you're going to do is take this section right here. You've got these faux wheels. Bring these up and then you're going to snap these up into place. And then take the whole front of the vehicle and just squeeze together. Now you're going to flip down this section here which will bring up the head and then just flop the head back and close that up. Now you're going to take this section here, the back part, pull this out and up. Also, first thing you want to do is bring these wheels out, and these are kind of hard to get a hold of. Get your thumbnail in and flip those out. Bring this out and over. It's on a double hinge, and it is really tight. The first time I did this, I was so worried about breaking this figure. And like I said, it's just, it's tight. It's fighting me right now. I think what I am doing wrong There we go. So once that comes loose, just, just work with it. Don't force it. It will come loose. 
So once that comes loose, you're going to take the body, do a 180 just like that, fold the arms up, and rotate the forearms around so the vehicle panels are on the outside. Push those in. And now you're just going to take this section of the vehicle here, bring it up and over. Like I said, it is very tight. Bring that over, fold it down, and then the whole idea is to just get everything tabbed in together. Which can be a pain because there's a lot of tabs that you got to line up just right. And there you have run amuck in vehicle mode. Now, unfortunately, where he is a white vehicle, you can really see all the gaps and separations. And like I said, there's a lot of tabs you really have to fight with. There's tabs there at the door. There's tabs that connect the roof to the main body. And getting those in, as you saw, can be a pain. And there's still tabs that won't, do not want to tab in right. You push one in, another one pops off. Now, in the case of runabout, he's black, so they blend in a lot better. So taking a closer look at Run of Muck's vehicle mode, it's really, really sharp looking. I love the collar details. And there's those tabs again. There's a lot of work to this vehicle to get that tab together. I'm telling you that right now. Paint applications. He's got the gold stripe there along the bottom, right here across the hood, purple Decepticon logo, and painted taillights. I see some Toy Hacks opportunities right there for the license plate. There is a very unique design underneath the translucent windows. I kind of dig that. I like that. I like that a lot. And there he is popping apart again. My biggest complaint with this figure, he won't stay tabbed in. And mine's got some kind of paint smudge right there. I might try some uh, Goo Gone, see if I can get that off. So there is Run Amuck. Run About tabs in so much better. This guy is nice and smooth, and where he's black, it really doesn't show where all those gaps are. I love the red translucent windows. That same design looks really, really cool with that. I just wish those pins weren't right there in the middle of the window. Same paint applications there on the back. You got the tail lights and red striping all the way around, and a big purple Decepticon logo up top. Now, there are ports on the roof, so if you choose, you can attach the weaponry like so. And now for a quick Generation 1 comparison, here is the Earthrise Battle Chargers with their Generation 1 counterparts. Now keep in mind, my G1 Battle Chargers have been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. Now, it's really cool that both of these guys got separate head sculpts, but I really wish that Hasbro would have modified their front ends because both of these guys, even though they transform exactly the same way, are different looking vehicles with different looking fronts. Yes, I made this one look like Kit. So I wish they'd done that, but other than that, that is a great homage to those original Generation 1 toys. So there you go, guys. One final look at the Earthrise Battle Chargers in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Earthrise Run Amuck and Run About with Generation 1 Megatron, Generation 1 Run Amuck and Run About. And one thing I forgot to show off was on the back heel of both of these guys, they have that faux wheel to kind of give them yet another Generation 1 throwback. So I think that's really, really cool and with Generation Select's Exhaust. Transformers War for Cybertron, Earthrise, Runamuck, and Runabout are two fantastic figures. I have been wanting modern updates for the Battle Chargers for years, and I really didn't want to pay those outlandish prices for the BotCon exclusive, so I am so happy to finally have these guys in my collection. I just wish that Runabout wasn't an exclusive. Yes, I've got mine, but I know he's going to be really hard to get for some other collectors who didn't get a chance to pre-order one, and this is one set where you definitely want to get both. So there you go, guys. Transformers, War for Cybertron, Earthrise, Battle Chargers, Runamuck, and Runabout.
So, do the Transformers Earthrise Battle Chargers run amok and run about belong in your collection? Absolutely. These are fantastic figures and great homages to those original Generation 1 toys. These guys have great looking robot modes, great looking vehicle modes, and my only real complaint, I wish run amok tabbed together better in vehicle mode. Other than that, I love these guys. Great paint applications. I mean, I couldn't be happier. So yeah, if you see these guys on the shelves, pick them up. You're not going to be disappointed. And therein lies the problem. I hate the fact that this guy is an exclusive. Yes, I have him in my collection. I'm happy to have him in my collection. But it upsets me that other collectors may not have the opportunity to grab this guy because of him being an exclusive. I hate the fact that Hasbro does that to us collectors. Why do they always make the exclusives a figure you need to complete a trio or a duo? Why can't it be a more obscure character that only really us old school G1ers know about? So yeah, that really sucks. And I hope that you guys can find this guy and track him down because they need to be a pair. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!